guys today we are going to do a um, desert scene and then you can see how I've done it you got the Sun radiating all the heat out as it goes through the colors and all the different color schemes so we go from yellows into oranges reds pinks purples blues we've got the cactus and you can see that we're going from light greens into dark greens and then bluey greens. So we're changing the colours to the colder sides and the warmer sides. And then you can see that we've got a few of the mountain dunes, um, not mountain dunes, the sand dunes. And you can see that we're using oranges and yellows for that to show the heat of the and the colours of the sand. Okay, let's get started. Okay, for this one... You're going to need lots of nice bright colouring pencils. You're going to need a pencil and a black pen for your outline. Okay, let's go. Right, first of all, I'm going to start in the middle of my page. And I'm going to start with my cactus. So first of all, you're going to start there. You're going to go round as if it was like a tree. So you're going to come round up. I'm going to come all the way up round the corner all the way down and back out then I'm going to do um, the bits coming off the side so you're going to come round all the way up then you can add on extra bits if you wanted to make this taller and add on bits and make it a different shape. You don't have to copy my shape at all. Cactuses are all different shapes and sizes. So that's what I'm doing basically. Then I'm just going to bring my mountain, um, oh, I keep saying that, mountain dune, my sand dune over so I'm just going to come up sad face curl it out into a happy face this is what I'm going to come happy face over into sad imagine that's coming straight along happy face into sad so I'm just managing it going through next bit um, let's do this bit first and then we'll do the sun bit first so then I'm just going to go and do some straight lines through the middle. Okay, and then you need, I've done four there, and I'm going to try and do four. Oh, this paper's really wobbly today. Two, three, four. One. So we got so you can see there we're going there. You'll do the same on here. So you come across up and over one, two. So I can, you'll do as many as you can fit in. The idea is when you're doing this, try and keep them as best as you can evenly spaced not have a great big chunky one and then a really tiny skinny one because you've had to squeeze it in try and keep them as best as you can i know mine are not quite even but just try and keep them as even as you can so i'm just going to do over the side of this one and then the other side so we're going to come around and curl it up for the happy faces Curling up into sad faces. Okay. Next bit, you can use something round if you want to. So if you've got a print stick or something, that's a good idea, a good basis to start. Or if you haven't, you can draw a free circle. So let's just move that down so make sure it's in short. Not very good at all this video lock. So there's my basic sun, and then round that. You're going to come round. Oops, go round. I went off the edge of the paper, went a bit skew wiffy then. 
and come round and you're just going to keep on doing the circles round. God, not bad Miss Harris considering it's freehand. And you can, as you're getting coming out more, you can start getting the bigger gaps on the sun. These are all even and as you're coming out you can start getting bigger as the rays of the sun intensify in the desert. And you're just going to come round to the cactus, jump over the cactus, come out the other side, bump into that one, jump over that one and come out the other side. So remember just to jump and imagine where that line would be. So you're just going to come down, again come down, imagine it going around, you have to come there, go through, come there, go through, come round. Okay? I still say really bumpy under this paper. I think it's making it wobble right off. So you're going to go something like that. Then what I'm going to do, as you can see from the real picture, just to give it a nice clean edge, I will do my black lines. So I can just go around. I'm just going to do a bit of this because I don't want to spend ages doing all this. So you're going to go around. This one's got an extra thick, chunky pen. Should show up really well on the camera. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four. There we go. Right, let's just do the sand dune. Yay! Said the word right this time. Again, all the way over, sad face, wee, wee, all the way over. You're going to take your time and make sure you'll get some nicer lines for me. I spent a bit more time on my first one, but, but it's a video, and you get about 10 15 minutes. So we try and rush through it. So then you'll get your sun. Oops. And you're going to come round all the way round. Right, I'm not going to do it anymore because obviously you won't, I won't get time to explain the next bit. What we're going to do, so I'm going to use a lighter green. And what you're going to do, basically, I put this half in, half out so you can see it. You're going to make different patterns in all of your sections, okay? And in some sections, we can overlap. So, if, for example, if I do this, it might not show up. This is light green, my cactus, and I'm just doing waves up and down, all the way down. Okay, now because I've used that set side, I'm going to do the top on this side. Up and down. Up and down. Right, next section I'm going to use is a dark green. So all on the dark green. I should have sharpened this pencil before I started. I'm going to do diagonals down. Okay, so do diagonals and then the same on these two. Oops. Hard to draw when you've got a blunt pencil. Make sure your pencils are sharp, guys, that's a lesson for you. Next one, I'm just going to do some swirls. 
with the light green. And the same here. And that one. Right. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a light blue over the top. So over that swirls, you can see that I'm going to add a light blue and mix the colours. So I'm just doing the same sort of swirls over the top. You can see this is my... That's great. And then you'll do the same again, but I'm going to use the dark green and light green. I've done diagonals this way. This time I'm doing them the opposite direction. So I'm coming down. So if I go down like that, then what you can do is I'm going to add my blue in between. Let me see what I'm doing. Um, you'll do that on the other two as well. And then for my um, sand dunes, I've started with the orange first. It's the orange being the hot, hot nice hot colour. I'll put that at the top. So I'm just doing zigzags. You could do it the other way around if you want to do yellow at the top. And then do your orange at the bottom. Really, it doesn't matter. As long as you're just sticking. So you can do zigzags in there. Same one there. Try and keep your zigzags all even. I am rushing. Okay. I'm going to show you the final one. So now you've got the idea of what we're trying to do. So have a look. So all on this one, I've just done orange and red mixed together in stripes. I've done yellow, like rectangles, yellow dots, yellow waves, yellow stripes. Then we've done, gone, and I've done it the same on them. So every time you do, whatever you do on that heel, you have to do on that heel and that heel. Then we go up to the sun. So the first middle of the bit, the first two are white. Then it starts to get lighter. So I've done a wide stripe going all the way around. Kept it so the white still coming in. Then I've closed it. And I've done um, yellow, then I've done yellow and orange, orange, then I've done red, pink, purple, light blue, or no, that's a dark blue. So I've used dark blue and dark blue in that corner. So you use, you don't have to copy my patterns whatsoever. You can make your own patterns up, which would be lovely to see, but just try and keep them nice and and repetitive so this is a repeating e pattern exercise which we all need to do and we need lots of practice some children i know struggle with doing repeating patterns so this is always a good one for us to practice have fun guys and don't forget to upload your pictures um so we can see them or send them in to the school so we can have a look at them see you later bye